Hi, everybody, and welcome to Unwind and Design. Uh, starting off with what we have in front of us, we have an 11 by 14 size canvas. Um, we also have a pencil on that we're going to be using. We're going to be pre-drawing this painting, so we're going to need a pencil. Then we have a fan, or if you have an outlet nearby, we have a hair dryer. You can also use a cardboard or any type of sheet to allow this to dry a little bit faster. We are going to be doing it in layers, so um, making sure that we can dry our back layer before we move on to our forward layer is very important. Next, make sure that you have a towel that you have your water and your brushes. Okay, the brushes we're gonna be using are our large background brush, our round tip brush, our flat square brush, and our detail brush, okay? Um, and again, I did mention we're using a pencil. Make sure you have a towel, your water, your brushes, um, and then you have your paint. The color we're gonna be painting with today is gonna be red, blue, and yellow. Next is gonna be black and white. And then it's gonna be our green and our brown. So make sure that you have these colors um, in front of you. Like I mentioned before, we are gonna be starting with our pencil. So let's start off with that first, okay? So starting off with our pencil, we're gonna go right in the middle, maybe the upper middle. Okay, so imagine you're cutting your canvas in half and cut it in half again. The top section is where we're gonna be starting right in the middle of your canvas, okay? So we're gonna be starting off with a little arch. So we're doing a little arch there. This is gonna be about maybe a hand's worth of uh, how big it's gonna be. It's gonna be about as wide as your hand. And we're gonna make the outsides of this line a little bit on the round side. Okay, so we're curving them a little bit. We're gonna be drawing a Christmas hat on top of our winter birdie. So this is gonna be the rim of our hat, the white part. See that? Then as we start to work our way towards the top, it starts to get sort of like a triangle. See how it's starting to look like a triangle? Except that once we get towards the top, we're actually going to wave it, okay? So we are not gonna make this a straight line. We are gonna wave it over the top, okay? Then we're gonna come out and create a little hook. We're not closing it all the way to the top. See that, I didn't close it, it's still a little open. Let me zoom that in so you can see it a little bit better. There we go, way better. And that's really all you have to do. We're not gonna do the fluffy part here yet. Um, if you want to, you can come in with just a little bit of a circle there, but we're gonna be coloring over it, so this really doesn't matter as much, okay? So from here, we're gonna make a line directly down, down our eyes, okay? And we're gonna make this a little bit big. I still have a lot of space below here, okay? Okay, and then off on the sides of the hat, we're gonna go out a little bit, you see that? So we're opening up our lines, making them a little bit wider. Right in the bottom, we start to open it up a little bit. Making a little bit of a V right in the center. And then we're gonna connect these lines all the way around to do our giant eyes. So they're going around. Okay. 
There you go, we made that nice and big. So that's what our piece is looking like right now. Right in the center, we're going to make a big diamond, okay? So we're coming off of the side a little bit, and then we're going right towards the middle, pointing this out, making the beak out of a diamond shape. So then next, we're going to come with our pencil and we're going to draw a little arch around the body. Right on top, we're making a line to separate that. We're not gonna draw the scarf at the end yet. We're gonna do that towards the end. I'm gonna straighten this line a little bit while you guys catch up with that drawing. So this is gonna be colored in and isn't really gonna matter, but you do wanna have a decent shape more or less so you know what it's gonna look like, okay? And I believe that's it. So we're gonna to begin to paint now, okay? Um, and we are going to be using our background brush for this. So our brush is like a sponge, okay? So whenever you squeeze it down, you're gonna get out a lot of water. So you want to make sure that it's really well mixed with your paint so that when you paint on the background, one, it's not super see-through, and two, um, it doesn't go all over the place. You want it to be nice and mixed in with this blue. Okay, so we're coming in with the blue, adding some water to it. And we're going to begin to paint this background. So just so you're aware, once you start to get closer to the surrounding section of our bird right here, you're gonna start to add a little bit of black to your blue to make it a little bit darker, almost like a shadow around your bird. Okay, you see how it's a little darker there? We're gonna want this blue to be darker than the one that's on the edges. And the way we do that is by just adding some black to it. And you can paint this going up and down. You can do X's, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Okay, and we're just gonna keep this up, doing blue all around and keeping it dark blue right in the inner section of our bird. Okay, and we're gonna do this all around.
All right, so moving on, we are going to be picking up some green now. So we are gonna be using our round tip brush. And the color we're gonna be using is going to be some green. If you don't have green, you can mix a little bit of blue with yellow and the color will work the same, okay? So we're coming in with a little bit of green. And we're gonna add just a little bit of brown to this green to make it look a little bit more olive. Okay, so we're coming in with that green and we're gonna to begin to paint. We are gonna to begin to paint around the belly of our birdie. So we're coming in and we're just doing these little jabs. Make sure that you go around we're creating these paint dabs all the way across where that you're picking up some of that green and you're just adding it in little sections, okay? So we're starting to build this up. And we're gonna continue that all the way down just so we can get that very rustic rough look. Okay. okay, and we're filling his little belly up nice and green. Next, we're gonna be picking up a little bit of that yellow and we're gonna be mixing it into our little birdie section here. So we're starting to make the belly just a little bit lighter with the yellow, we're starting to add that in there. Make it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown too in certain sections. So I'm adding a little bit of brown on the left. I am gonna go in there and brighten that up. It looks a little dark right now, but I am gonna go back with a little bit more yellow to brighten it up slightly. And I'm gonna be adding some white in a little bit too. So we're adding some yellow around and we're gonna be adding brown towards the corners and then adding yellow above that as well or on top of that. Again, I'm remembering to come in with a little bit of brown on the sides just to add a variety of color, make it look like there's more shadow on the edges. Coming in with a little bit more of that brown. Okay, I'm gonna add it around the beak too, just a little bit, trying to create more dimension. Okay, I'm gonna go back with a little bit more yellow over that brown section. Once I add yellow, it's gonna look a little bit more olive when it starts to mix with that brown. Okay, so, so after, after I painted in my green and my yellow around, I'm coming in with just a little bit of white and I'm mixing my white with my green because I don't want it to be too, um, too bright. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow with it and I'm gonna mix a little bit of green. And I'm gonna be using this white to go in, maybe a little bit more yellow. I think that's a little bit too um, dark. So I'm coming in with a little bit of that white and I'm starting to add a little bit of a highlight Okay, you can also pick up a little bit of brown with it if you want to add a little bit of a brown highlight with some white or brown tone to the highlight. Okay, and we're just going to keep that a little bit low. We're not going to highlight the whole thing. Okay, 
we still want to keep some dark colors in there. So we're picking up our square brush. Make sure to dip it in your water. And using our square brush now, we're gonna be moving on to our hat. So again, using our square brush, we're gonna be moving on to our hat. Next, the color we're gonna be using is going to be red. If you want a darker red, go ahead and add a drop of black. We're gonna be adding the darker section around over here. Um, and we're gonna be making it a little bit lighter towards the top. And finally, we're gonna add just a little bit of white. So let's come in first with our red. Make sure to add enough water. We want it to be nice and smooth. We don't want it to be sticky. You guys have to pay attention to the consistency of your water. If it's too sticky, you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna waste a lot of water and it's not gonna spread as soft and it's not gonna give you a really nice finished look. It's gonna be kind of patchy. So you wanna make sure that your paint is a little soft. So I'm coming in with my red and I'm filling in my cap. If it's too watery, your paint can get a little bit runny and puddly, and we want to avoid that too. We don't want to keep it um, super thick as well. We want to make it nice and thin. Okay, so on our red that's a little bit uh, brighter, I'm gonna come in and add another layer just because it looks a little bit on the pink side and we want it to be nice and thick. So on the section that we want it to be a little bit darker, we're gonna add just a drop of black into our red just to make it a little bit darker, you see that? And with that darkness, you're gonna come in and add some shadow on the right hand side. You're gonna add some shadow there and we're gonna add some shadow below towards the bottom. You see how it's getting a little bit darker on that side? I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker right in the middle as well. And then right towards the top, we're gonna come in with a little bit of white. Okay, so we're picking up a little bit of that white and we're gonna make a little highlight right here on top. So we're coming in with our white and we're just gonna go in and make a little bit of a highlight towards the top of the hat. Coming back in, adding a little bit more of that shadow. Now that some of that red has dried, I can come back and add a little bit of a darker shadow on there. See that, adding a little bit of a darker red on that section. You can even use your detail brush if you wanna go in and add a little bit of a white highlight on the side. Okay, and the reason we're adding that white is because we do have some snow that landed right there. That's why we have the white right over the top. When we're done with this, you can go in and we're gonna begin to paint in the eyeballs, okay? So we're gonna be using our square brush again, picking up a little bit of water. And we're gonna be using our colors, white, with just a little tad bit of brown. Okay, we're not using a lot. We're just using it to make a shadow around the eyes. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. So we're coming in with our square brush, picking up our white. Make sure that your brush is nice and washed. You don't wanna have any colors left over. Um, you don't wanna have any blues. You wanna just have your plain white, okay? So make sure that you have that white in there. Perfect, there we go. So we have that very soft white. 
And I'm going to come in and begin to fill in my eyeballs. And I'm going to start to also kind of outline them as well. You see that? Now we're outlining this, making it a little bit straight on the outside again. I'm going to do the same thing with my hat. I'm making it just a little bit rounder on the sides. There you go. That way when I work on it, it'll already have that coat of paint on there so that I can just come in and brighten it up even more and I don't have to brighten it from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing around this eye. I'm gonna start to color this in, fill it in with some of that white. Next, we're coming in with just a little bit of brown and we're mixing that into our white so we get a very, very light brown, okay? So with this light brown, we're gonna begin to just kind of paint around the eyeball itself, very, very light. Notice that it's not dark at all. It's a super, super light shadowy brown. We're gonna also add that on top of the eye. Very light sandy brown. We're not adding too much on there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're coming in with some of that light brown. And if your paint is still wet below, you'll get a very pretty gradient and a really nice transition of color. Our white in our bottom should blend with our light brown that we're placing on top to bring it just another notch lighter, which is why we add that base coat here. Okay, so we're coming in, we're straightening it out at the edge. And there we go. See how we're creating that aura around the eye. Next, I'm going to retire my square brush and I'm going to be using my round tip. So with my round tip, I'm going to add a little bit of water and I'm going to add just a little bit more brown to my white. Okay, I want it to be just a little bit darker. And we're going to start to add a little bit of a shadow on the bottom section of our eye. Okay, so we want it to be a little thin. We don't want it to be too thick. Okay, see that? We're starting to get some of that shadow there. I'm gonna grab a little bit more, bring it in from the top down. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing up here. We're gonna make a line, kind of spot it a little bit. Scratch it on the side here, bring it up. So the next thing we're gonna be filling out is going to be our scarf. So our scarf, we're coming in with our round tip brush, picking up a little bit of that white, and we're beginning to outline the bottom of our scarf. Okay, we're gonna go into the tummy just a little bit. Again, make sure that you add a nice thick glop of that, make it nice and, make a nice first layer, and color that in with some of that white. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Covering that up with some white as well. And from here, we're gonna to begin to do the sides of our scarf that are kind of just flying around. Okay, so we have one side of our scarf that's coming down and then it goes up. Of course, it's a little bit thinner at the base and as it goes out, 
your line gets a little bit wider. And we're gonna do the same thing on top. We're going down, we're going up, making a line across, and then there you go. There's our second scarf. You want to grab just a little bit of blue into your white. We can go ahead and add a little bit of a shadow in there. So here's a light shadow. I'm adding another shadow right there. I'm going to also add a shadow close to the corners and in the bottom of the eyes a little bit. See, I'm doing just a very light shadow. There's still some white in there. I'm not trying to cancel out that white. There you go. Once we are done with the scarf, we're gonna go in and begin to work on the little poofs on the Christmas hat. So we're gonna start off with the poof on the top of the hat going to be some white and your round tip brush still and we're just going to be going in a circle dabbing this and you can make this as small or as big as you want come in with a little bit more of that blue See, we're, our shadows here are going to be done with our blue if you want to go in and add a little bit of gray just to make it a little darker. You can make some white with some black and you can also go in and apply a little bit of gray in there for an even deeper dimension of shadow if you're interested in doing that. It's not, you don't have to, blue is fine, but if you wanna go in there and use some of that gray, it'll give you another look, okay? So again, I went in with my white, went in with my blue and I'm working on my little fluffy thing on top of my Christmas hat here on my birdie. And we're gonna do the same technique that we did here. Okay, and we don't want it to be super straight. We want it to be a little loose at the edges so that it looks nice and fluffy. So we don't wanna to press too hard. There we go. We wanna make it look like there's still some of that fluff that's loose around, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with the hat, we're gonna come in and we're just gonna to begin to dab the design of the hat all the way around with that white. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna add a little bit of that fluff to the top of the hat. We're gonna add some to the edges as well. Make it look nice and loose, just like we did the little fluffy thing on top. There we go. Then we're gonna come back with that blue mixed in with our white. You can also add a little bit of black like I mentioned before. And we're gonna start to add a little bit of a shadow towards the left-hand side of the hat. Okay, bringing, coming back with a little bit more blue. All right, so moving on, we are going to be picking up our detail brush and we are going to be, oh, I accidentally painted over the eye a little bit too much there. Let me go over that eye just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so 
like Bob Ross says, there's no such thing as mistakes, just happy little accidents. And look, just like that, I was able to outline the iron and there, we're good. So that easy. So we're gonna be using our detail brush and the next color we're gonna be using is going to be some red. So we're dipping it in our detail. If you wanna add a little drop of black to your red, just to make it a little bolder, you can, if you think your red is too bright. Um, so we're picking up some of that red. Make sure that you add enough water into it. There we go. Okay, and we're going to come in on the side and we're going to begin to do some stripes coming down along the side of our, um, of our little scarf here. So we're just gonna continue these lines all the way across. Okay, and we're gonna do it all the way to the right-hand side. And we're gonna expand our lines to the sides of the scarf as well. All right, guys, so moving on, we are going to work on our um, beak here. So this is very easy. We're gonna be doing uh, this color with an orange. How do you make orange? You mix yellow and red. So we're gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of yellow with our red. We're picking up some red and putting it right in the middle, mixing a little bit of yellow with that. The more yellow you add, the lighter your color is, the more, uh, red you leave the darker it is so i'm going to pick up some orange with a lot of yellow so it's very bright okay so this is the brighter one up here and we're just going to begin to fill out this beak with that okay let's try to add a little bit more yellow to this bottom section make it a little bit brighter Once we start to get towards the left, we're gonna come in with a little bit more red just to make it a little bit darker, just to create a variety of shades in that beak so it looks like you have a shadow. There you go. You can even add a little drop of black to that to make it even darker. Again, tiny little drops. You don't really need a lot. Once you get towards the right-hand side, we're gonna wash off our round tip brush. We're gonna pick up some white and we're gonna do a highlight at the tip of the beak. All right, so once we are done with this, we are gonna grab our detail brush, pick up a little bit of black with it. Tiny amount of black, you don't need that much. I know I say a little a lot um, in my painting classes, but I really do mean a little. People are used to grabbing large amounts of paint. So when I say a little, I mean like grab a tiny amount. It's just a reminder for you guys to remember to do that. But okay, so we're gonna go right in the middle and we're gonna do an oval. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna do an oval. You wanna do it more or less even Mine doesn't look even right now. Mine looks really uneven, so I'm gonna make my eye just a little bit bigger. Okay, and we're gonna begin to fill these in with some black. Sometimes it helps to fill the whole eye in and then measure as you go. Here's one oval. 
because then you can really see how the sizes look compared to each other. Next, we're gonna come in with that black and right towards the bottom, we're gonna do two lines for his feet. Is one. And on the other side, we're going to come in and do one more. We're also going to go in and outline our entire bird with our black. So we're going to add a good amount of water to our black and we're going to start to outline all of our bird. We're not gonna outline the fluffiness so much, but we are gonna come in and outline part of this hat. We're also gonna outline the sides of the eyes, around the beak, around the scarf, and around the belly. Next, we're coming in and with this brush, the same detail one, we're gonna pick up a little bit of white. And we're gonna come in and do a single dot on the right hand side towards the top. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Look at how cute that is. Oh, it's such a cute bird, I love it. that. So again, now we're coming in with our round tip brush, picking up a little bit of that water. And we're going to be picking up our white and just leaving snow balls falling from the sky. So we have these little pieces of snow just falling down. We're not going to put some over the body and the face, just kind of over the hair. And then we're gonna go around our little birdie to cover up the background with that snow. Okay, and you're gonna continue this all the way to the top. Remembering to add these snowflakes varied around. One final thing we're gonna do, um, I like to do this only because um, I feel like the legs might be a little bit too much in the background. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of gray. Okay, so I'm gonna mix some black into the corner of my white. And with this gray, it doesn't have to be super bright. It could be a little bit on the dark side, that's fine. And with this gray, we're gonna come in and we're gonna make a tiny little line on the right-hand side of our legs. So we're bringing up our brush, we're bringing up our brush, and we're just adding a little bit of a highlight next to that leg you see that there we go so after this all you need to do is come in with your detail one more time and on the right hand side you are going to come in and put your signature so after this final step you guys are done thank you guys so much for joining me today and hopefully you'll join me next time for another class at unwind and design